travel in a tube at almost supersonic speeds. The Hyperloop would whisk cargo and passengers from one destination to another in pods within depressurized tubes at speeds of around 1200 kilometers an hour, transforming the 600 kilometer journey from LA to San Francisco into a half hour commute. It's not about getting somewhere, it's about being somewhere. We're not trying to optimize the transportation experience, we're trying to eliminate it. A pipe dream now one step closer to reality. The Hyperloop took seed in the mind of Elon Musk, CEO of Tesla Motors and SpaceX. In 2013, he published his vision of the futuristic system in a paper, calling on innovators to build it. Hyperloop One is one of the startups that took up the challenge. This Wednesday, they're demonstrating what they've achieved so far in the desert outside Las Vegas. And they plan to carry out a full-scale test by the end of 2016. The company also just announced it's raised $80 million in new funding from a range of investors, including France's public rail company, the SNCF. They say the challenge is not so much in building the technology, but in making it affordable. We could build Hyperloop today, but it would be very expensive. We want to deliver all the value that Hyperloop can deliver, the safe, the efficient, the on-demand, uh, the fast. But we want to deliver it at a cost basis that is absolutely transformative. But Hyperloop One has competition. Last month, rival crowdsourced company Hyperloop Transportation Technologies signed an agreement with the Slovakian government, agreeing to build a Hyperloop connecting Slovenia with Austria and Hungary.